Okay, here's warm up C. Here's our more advanced warm up. And again, we're going to have Jordan demonstrate for us. So here we go. We're going to start off again with some breathing. We're going to start off with the dead bug. So we're going to lay on the back, knees and hips at 90 degrees, hands directly above the shoulders. And then as we we're going to take a breath in and you'll extend one arm and one leg opposites. So you'll bring that leg as close to the ground as you can and the arm as close to the ground as you can, keeping them both straight and then come back to neutral. So breathe in as you extend, in through the nose, and then breathe out as you come back up. With this one you want to make sure that your low back stays in the floor as hard as you can. So as you extend, breathe in, brace the abs. Low back on the floor. That's the dead bug. We'll do five on each side and then we'll move on to the hip internal rotation, external rotation rocking. So with this one you want to make sure the knee on one leg is right behind the heel on the other one. And then we'll try to rotate from one side to the other. Let's go directly into the other side. So you can use your hands to help you rotate from one side to the other. And if you can, you can go without the hands. Just rotate, there you go. So this one's excellent for hip mobility. So then we'll go to reach, roll, and lift. So we're gonna come on all fours. Gonna make a fist with your hands. And then put your head on that fist. You're gonna bring your other hand down by your side and then you'll reach out as far as you can. Roll the arm so the palm is facing the ceiling. And then you're gonna lift that arm off the ground, keeping the arm dead straight. Then bring it back to neutral and go again. Reach, roll, lift. Perfect. And then we'll do five of those on each side. So the next one we'll do is a push-up plus one. So this one is good for a little thoracic mobility and shoulder blade stability. So we'll go into the push-up. As you come out of the push-up, you'll just reach back with the hips, keeping the back nice and flat, and come back to neutral. So you should feel a little bit of a stretch in your calf and your hamstrings as you go back you should feel your shoulder blades moving. Six of those. Then we're going into the Spider-Man rotation. So we're in that high plank position again. I'm gonna bring one leg on the outside of the hand, bring it all the way up, put it on the ground, and then rotate out, and then come back to neutral. Bring that foot all the way outside the hand, rotate, and back to neutral. So we'll do three of those each side. Next one, we're gonna lay on our back, doing a straight leg raise. So again, we're gonna focus on keeping the low back in the ground. Hands can go on the ground to stabilize. Head looking at your toes. And then you're gonna straighten the legs out about six inches off the ground. So pick your head up and bring the feet a little closer to the ground. You may even get a little full body shake going on here. That's perfectly okay. Just try to remember to breathe. 20 seconds, then we'll come up to our feet and do a single leg RDL. So you're gonna balance on one leg. And then you're gonna reach out with your hands as far as you can and reach back with your foot as far as you can. You'll notice a slight bend in that front leg or the leg that's balancing. In this position, you should feel a little bit of a stretch in your hamstring on the balancing leg. So we'll do six of these on each leg. Wonderful. Now we'll move on to the jump squats. So we're gonna sit into a squat and then explode out of it, jumping up as high as we can. There we go. Six jump squats. Then we'll go to an overhead lunge. So we'll go hands up in the air, thumbs pointing backwards. And then we're gonna step back into the lunge with a little bit of a curtsy. Should feel a little bit of a stretch in the glutes. That's the overhead lunge. We're gonna do five on each side and then we'll go to ice skaters. So skaters, again, you're gonna balance on one leg and you'll jump out to one side as explosively as you can, stick the landing, and then go the other way. That's your ice skaters. Then we'll move into our traveling movements. High knees down, getting the knees up nice and high. We'll go again, that's okay. So. Yep, get it in. High knees, perfect. You can get those hands out in front to gauge, give you a gauge of how high your knees should be. And then we're going from there into karaoke with an overhead swing. We're gonna go both ways on this one. This one can get a little challenging. Hands behind the head as you go into that karaoke. 
So you'll see a foot coming in front and then behind as that knee comes up nice and high. Beautiful. Then we'll do the goose step, which is the same, and warm up A and B, hands on the hips, kicking straight out in front. And the big part here, make sure the heel stays on the ground of the leg that's balancing. Keep that heel down. And then the last one is the power skip. So we're going to take it nice and explosive, getting up as high as you can. So you power skip down and back. And there it is. That is your warm-up C or your advanced warm-up.